Welcome to Siena to some of you. Welcome back to others. My name is John Dargenio. I'm the Vice President and Director of Athletics at Siena. As you can see, I'm not a real actor. That's why I have notes. I'm going to tell you all about how much fun you're going to have this season. At Siena, we pride ourselves in having a lot of people that can help you through your journey at Siena College. One of those people is Stephen Berry. Steven's our compliance coordinator. I refer to him as Stevie B because he's a bit of a stand-up comic as well as our compliance coordinator. But Steven is the guy you know as having sent you all the forms that you need to fill out through ARMS. Our compliance coordinator makes sure that we follow the MAC rules, the NCA rules, and Siena rules. We have 10 expectations at Siena College. One of them is integrity. Steven's our integrity guy. He makes sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Look at his desk. It gives you confidence because he's well organized to be able to do that. So we say thank you to Steven for all that he does for our CN athletes. Another guy that helps us out is across the hall. Mike Demos. Oh, hey. Mike, how are you? I'm good, John. How are you? Mike's our assistant athletic director for communication. Mike and his assistant, Catherine Prince, manage SiennaSaints.com. They run every home game, and they promote all of our athletics through all of our social sites, through all of the traditional media as well. Take a look at Mike's office. Mike's got a lot of moving parts. <laughs> but the thing that Mike brings and Catherine brings is discipline, which is another expectation of the athletic department. You have to be disciplined to do your job well. And even though Mike takes a little bit different approach from organization than Steven, he still has that great discipline to get his job done and get the job done for your programs. Another expectation, I told you we have 10, this is our third one I'm giving you today, is humility. Those people give of themselves not for the accolades, but to provide something to you. So say thank you to them when you have success. So we talked about 10 expectations and we gave you three of them. We talked started with integrity, discipline, and humility. Win. We want you to compete and win conference championships. Recruit. It's to recruit the right student athletes to Siena. Those that want to win, those that want to graduate, and those that want to be good citizens. You're watching this video, you're a student at Siena College, the coaches think you're the right athletes, prove them right. Committed. You have unique skills as an athlete and as a student, but if you're not committed to continually improving those skills, you won't be successful. Graduate. We're in the top 10% in the country over the last 12 years, Mike, and graduation success rate. Don't bring our average down. Accountable. I hope I'm spelling all these right. Own your mistakes and develop a plan to improve. Appreciate. Now my staff made me change this name of this expectation. I used to call it no whining, but now we call it appreciate. We all want more, we all think we need more. But we ask you to appreciate what you have, embrace it to help you be successful, and don't worry about what you don't have. And finally, communicate. Sometimes you need to ditch the digital platforms and talk face to face if you want to have meaningful, constructive communication with people. So now that you know the department's expectations, sit back and enjoy this 45-minute presentation what? on how Siena College Athletics can help you during your athletic career. So what I want to talk to you guys about is the code of conduct. It's really important as student athletes that you guys understand that you're not only representing your team, our athletic department, and the college, but also the MAP conference. And it's crucial that you understand the rules of each so that you know the policies and the procedures that you need to follow. 
So one thing that we have an absolute zero tolerance for is hazing. There's absolutely no hazing of any type that should ever go on with our sports teams or any member of the team. And that could be anything from forcing somebody to drink alcohol, um, from kidnapping them, taking them somewhere and making them find their way back to campus. Anything that makes our student athletes potentially feel uncomfortable in any way is considered hazing. The zero tolerance policy means that you could be dismissed from the team, lose your athletic scholarship, and even be dismissed from the college. So we absolutely do not want to see any type of hazing in any form. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm doing do well. Do you mind if I hop in? All right. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding. Chris, I want to thank you guys. Public safety does an excellent job of keeping our campus safe and keeping our student athletes safe, all of our students. We really appreciate the work that you guys do. And you know, we just try to emphasize to our students that do their best to make the right the right choices and the right decisions, but should they find themselves in a situation where they, you know, they're maybe meeting you guys for the wrong reasons, we just ask them and emphasize to them to just handle themselves properly. Be respectful to you just as you are respectful to them and there should be no issue. You know, don't hesitate to call us. I know that we're gonna come off, we have to enforce the policies of campus and you might you know, feel uncomfortable coming to us, but we're always available. We're always willing to help you guys out. Come on in. Hey, Lori, do you have a second? Yeah, Evan, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm kind of worried. Uh, Coach said he's going to take my scholarship. What, take uh, your scholarship yeah. away from you? What's that all about? Um, okay, well... There's only a few reasons why your scholarship could ever be taken away. Um, if you quit the team, you didn't quit the team? No. No. Um, if you're ineligible for any reason, academically, I know you're not, because you're a very good student, so it can't be that. You didn't get do any violations or anything? Not that any, I know of, no. Okay. Um, yeah, the only other thing, and you haven't gotten in trouble on campus, any conduct issues or anything? No. Okay. So, Evan, here's my recommendation to you, because you can't have your scholarship taken away. It is renewed annually. Um, but if it's not renewed and it's not for one of the reasons I just said, um, then you have the right to appeal it and go to the financial aid office. But before you do that, I would sit down and talk to coach and find out, you know, what maybe, maybe there's just a misunderstanding about it. Find out from him exactly what the reasons are that he's taking your scholarship away and hopefully it gets resolved that way. If it doesn't, you know, check back in with me. But yeah, you know, ultimately you can formally appeal that. Okay, perfect. Thank okay, you. Okay, good luck. I'm sure it'll work out for you. I'm going to ask Coach right now. If okay. I have any further questions, I'll let you know. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Evan. Hi, I'm here to talk about NCAA eligibility. In order to be eligible for Siena College Sports, you must do a couple of things. First things first, you have to be registered for the NCAA Eligibility Center. If you're not a freshman and you're returning to Siena College, you have to follow all progress towards degree requirements. That includes being enrolled full-time at all times. In order to be eligible for your second year of competition, you need to have a 1.8 GPA or higher. For your third year, a 1.9 and a 2.0 for your fourth and fifth years of eligibility. As a student athlete, you will also use ARM software. It's a very important website where all of the department paperwork is handled. You'll receive emails talking about what you need to sign and when. It's also where you will get all required information for tickets and your countable athletically related activity. This activity called CARA is very important, perhaps the most important thing you'll do at Siena. Occasionally you'll log into ARMS and verify the times put in by your coaches to check the practice times that you had and not what they put. So what do CARA logs measure? They measure all countable and non-countable activities. If you're in season, you can have up to 20 hours of countable activity in a week, four hours per day, and in that week, one day off is required. If you're an out of season athlete, you have up to eight hours of activity with no more than two focused in your specific sport. In the out of season period, you have two required off days per week. Woo! Oh, let's go. At any time, you can conduct voluntary activity. This is activity that you take part in without any coaches present. If coaches are present, it immediately becomes countable activity, and that can be considered a violation. So hi, Kadeem. Thanks for coming in today. No so basically, I got a result from your progress report for mm -hmm. Cubiz. Okay. And it's just 
I know that you could do better, and I think you could use some support. Mm -hmm. And with all the stress, you know, with being in season, mm -hmm. I lined up a great tutor for you. Okay. We have the Saint Supporting Saint Tutor Program. So I have another athlete, actually, who got a 4-0 in that class, who's going to tutor you. Okay. So um, please just take good advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're prompt. And also, um, I did notice he, in the within part of the documentation of the progress report that your writing is a little bit weak in some of the responses. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to take advantage of the writing center okay. and try to go there at least a couple times a week. And of course, meeting with your professor mm -hmm. consistently and sitting in the front row mm -hmm. and just having showing that awesome smile and personality. I know that you'll be able to pull that grade up. That's easy. Hi Jordan, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Good to see you again. You too. Have a seat. So, you're all registered and you're happy with your classes? Yes. Jordan is one of our freshman basketball players and it's very imperative that he meets with his professors the first day of class and present the absence letters because he will be missing a fair amount of classes. And it's important that the professors that the respect is shown that the athlete cares, knows he's going to miss a couple classes, but presents the letter that will be sent to them in the very beginning of the, basically the first week of classes. And the relationship with the professor is automatically born with the respect that I'm going to miss a couple classes, here's the letter of proof, but I will do everything in my power to make sure those assignments are turned in prom promptly for whatever I miss. I really appreciate you meeting with me, Jordan. No I know problem. you're going to have a successful season on and off the court. Definitely, no problem. Welcome to Siena College. I know myself and my staff are really excited to have the opportunity to work with you over the next couple of years and be able to promote and highlight the many successes I'm sure that all of you are going to have uh, while you're here wearing the green and gold. A couple things I wanted to talk to you today from the athletic communications side, uh, one being uh, social media. Uh, obviously there's a lot of different mediums out there, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and the key thing to remember is that once you become a Division I student athlete, you have that added responsibility. Uh, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, you're not just Joe Smith, Siena student, you're Joe Smith. Seeing a lacrosse player and if you do something that's going to not only embarrass yourself or your family but it would embarrass your team uh, and your teammates as well. The first thing when you're doing an interview is you know you always want to have good posture um, you know be upright whether you're sitting or standing and uh, really making sure that you're making eye contact uh, with the interviewer it really goes a long way and if you watch interviews where people do it it kind of makes you kind of come off in a more uh, positive way. Um, sometimes, you know, people are going to ask you tough questions uh, after a loss. It's not always going to be, um, you know, unicorns and, and candy canes, so you need to be ready for that. You know, obviously, if you just had a tough loss, we'll make sure you have some time to kind of calm down after and collect your thoughts, but just understand, you know, you might be getting some tough questions. Uh, you never want to throw anybody on your team under the bus or your coaches, and you never want to say anything negative about the opponent. Um, the key thing really to remember, you know, when you're thinking about answers to give is that, you know, you're wearing something that has Sienna on most likely, you're representing uh, your teammates and your players and, and really the program as itself, and you want to make sure that you're putting the program above yourself. Eddie, great game last night. Hey, listen, I was out and I saw these sneakers. And I think you'd love them. I think you'd do well in it with them. I don't know if I can take them. Make it sense the rules. Oh my God, take a look. It's my monthly stipend, the whole thing, but you're worth it. You know, maybe I can take them. They're really nice. Don't take those. Don't take them. <laughs> Lock it in. Take two. Take two. Here we go, Evan. Hi, I'm Ian Farrell. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach here at Siena College. Here at Siena, we're dedicated to the physical development of our student athletes. It's not always about getting bigger, but it's about building strength, speed, and explosiveness that translates to the court, the pool, the field, and the diamond. Our main goal is to make you 
durable enough to withstand the rigors of an athletic season. We understand that not everyone comes from different athletic backgrounds and training experiences. We also recognize that not everyone needs or is capable of completing the same movements. With our new strength and conditioning facility and all of our equipment, we are able to meet everyone's needs and prescribe different exercises if need be. The fact is injuries do happen. We work very closely with our athletic training staff to find you the best return to play pro protocol and get you healthy again. The weight room can be a very new experience for many people and can seem intimidating. We guarantee that you feel more and more comfortable after each training session. The only things we ask you to bring is effort, focus, and an open mind. It is imperative that you understand and learn what we're trying to do, why we're trying to do it, and how to do it the right way consistently. Hey guys, my name is Brian. I'm one of your athletic trainers here at Siena. Uh, I want to talk to you all about concussion real quick. Uh, you guys got most of the forms that explain our policy on concussion. So read over those and uh, honestly, it breaks down to the fact that if you get a concussion, you're diagnosed, you're gonna go through sports medicine and our team physicians before you're deemed clear to return to activity. So it's just gonna be a constant line of communication. It's important you all to be honest with us. Don't hide symptoms. Let us know how you're actually feeling so we can get you back to play as soon as we can. Other than that, it's just important that if you guys see someone get hit in the head, you suspect one of your teammates has a concussion, you let us know and we'll take it from there. It's important that we talk about your treatment. Uh, at sports medicine, you guys have to come in at a reasonable time. You know, we're here every day, just about uh, from about 8 to about 6.30. Come in at a reasonable time, you know, between lunch, practice, get in before you guys go outside, and we'll, uh, we'll help you with your treatment. We're here to help you guys, all right? So always know that, and make sure you guys are coming to us uh, for anything that concerns you guys. If you think something's wrong with you, bring it to us. Even if you think it might not be sports medicine, let us know and we'll help find the right channel of help for you. Uh, we're here at your disposal, but help us to help you. So for insurance coverage in the athletic training room, um, each individual is required to have a primary insurance coverage, either through the school or through your parents. That is what the injury claim goes through first. And then we use our Sienna Athletic Insurance as a secondary um, to cover anything that's not covered through the primary insurance. Any balance left after that comes to the Sienna Athletic Training Room and we cover those expenses. All right, in regards to any injuries or athletic treatment, we ask that uh, all doctor's appointments go through sports medicine so that your level of care is all cohesive and that um, treatment is all taken care of by the sports medicine staff as well. It's my part today to speak about uh, drug testing. NCAA and Siena College in-house athletic department. If you have any, are taking any supplements, please, please stop and see me so that I can check to make sure that it's not on the NCAA banned list or is enough of a concentration that it'll make you fail a drug test. If you have any questions or if you are taking a product, please come and show me and we'll uh, research it and make sure it's safe for you to take and will not cause you to fail a drug test. The NCAA will come in once or twice a year to do drug testing and there's a list of banned substances you'll find in the student athlete handbook and you can also find at NCAA.org under the sports medicine drug testing section that'll help also guide you. Understand the most important point being with the NCAA drug test if you fail the drug test, and not only does it include street drugs, but a PEDs also, performance enhancing drugs, which don't just include steroids, that you could lose with the NCAA the first half year. The other thing to know is with our policy, we do that in-house, uh, there's no warning. So we can just come get you, take you off the field and say, come on, let's go. It's time for a drug test. You're gonna have to uh, help us out with the urine sample. And, and again, with that, your first, your first offense 
is you lose 10% of the game. Hey, Taylor, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, come on in, have a seat. Sure. Uh, Carbo said we had to come in for a speech. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is actually part of our Saints program. So we have different speakers that come in throughout the academic year. This one is going to be coming in to speak about alcohol and drug use and the effects it has uh, on your body as a student athlete. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We do um, speakers along with that. Our SAC and SAM are part of our Saints program as well. Do you know what you're familiar with SAC and SAM? No, I'm not. Yeah, so SAC, we have a couple representatives from each team. And what they do is they act as liaisons between the student athletes and the administration. So any issues or concerns that you guys have as student athletes that might come up in the year, they bring it to our attention. We work together on it. Um, and then Sam are your student athlete mentors. Each team has one or two representatives. And they kind of help steer you guys in the right direction as far as other opportunities around campus um, to just help your overall well-being, your overall wellness. So yeah, and then Taylor, we do, um, as you know, a lot of our teams do community service. Um, so community service is a big part of the Saints program as well. Um, and last year, we uh, every year we award a team that goes above and beyond the community service and does quite a bit. And um, last year, uh, the Saints Cup went to the women's cross country. And they did a fantastic job just in their overall community service. Um, and then, you know, just the last part of that for our overall wellness for the student athletes is our, we have a sports psychologist that works um, with our Saints, and a lot of teams utilize him and set up meetings and stuff to kind of, again, help you with your overall development as a student athlete. So I hope that helps explain it. Yeah, definitely. I'm here to talk to you today about academic integrity at Siena College. Academic integrity involves doing your own work, not copying, not plagiarizing, citing your work appropriately, and again, doing your own work. If you're unsure what plagiarism constitutes, see your professor. Read every single syllabus ever. Consult with the library or librarian staff. Visit the Writing Center in Standish Library. Visit Student Access and Academic Advising in Siena Hall 215. It's in our Student Athlete Handbook. It's online at siena.edu. As Director of Student Athlete Engagement here at Siena College, I make sure that you're marrying your academic success with your athletic prowess as well. So I'll help you craft and revise resumes to make sure that you're landing internships, research undergraduate experiences, making sure that you're availing yourself of study abroad if you see that has a place in your professional development. I write about your accomplishments using athletics communication. We'll be sure to promote your achievements using Twitter and SiennaSaints.com's articles. We'll also make sure that your application for graduate school is perfect. And finally, we've instituted recently a Siena Saints Leadership Academy to make sure that your professional and personal success is complete. Lawyer May, please take a look at my resume. Joella, I would love to look at your resume. Thanks. Folks, I'm here to make sure that I give you the best resume for the dollar. Basically, you don't pay me any dollars. I'm here to help you. So I'll make sure at the end of the day that your resume is pristine, whether I have to interview you, pull information out of you, we don't make things up, but we put it all together to make sure that your resume works for you. Thanks, John. I think we can do a little better in the 21st century. Thank you for joining the Siena community and becoming a saint. I invite you to take this opportunity to really grow as a person, to become a leader, to even become a role model both on our campus and in our local community. Of course, the opportunity to become a saint comes with the expectation that you're going to work hard to get the most out of your education, you're going to make good choices, and you're going to be strong in building relationships with others on our campus and again in our local community. Being a saint is about being a good Siena citizen. Be the best you can be and show others a pathway through which they might become better saints themselves.